All right, good morning. We are greeting you from South Georgia, USA. Beautiful morning here. Got up early this morning and uh, came out to hit golf balls. I have been struggling with my golf ball hitting, trying all kinds of different methods. And, and I decided to get out here and really measure what I was hitting and how far. I've got my Miura 7. I don't know if this one's got a number on it, but it's several years old. It's not a new one. But I'm going to show you something right here about golf terminology. All right, you see my golf club there. When I turn it this way, that's called opening. That would be like opening the gate. And when I turn it this way, it's like shutting the gate. Open, shut. <coughs> now, er about everybody understands it. We're trying to get the golf club back to square, which I call shut. I guess really shut would be there, but I'm saying the gate's closed there. Open the gate, close the gate. All right. In Bobby Jones's book, he talked about the shut face method and mentioned several people that I cannot remember their names that were extremely accurate with the shut face method. I may be wrong about what that means, but this is the way I interpret it. Go ahead and close. This, this is shut or square. When you bring the club back, you never turn, see how my wrist turn? Nor do you do anything. You just leave it. And you go up as far as you want, and you come back, and you hit down on the ball. You're letting, like, there's a camera in that club, and it's looking at the ball. It's looking at the ball. And then you come down and hit. The beauty of this method is you can hit down on the ball very well with it because this, your, your mind can see, can imagine this hammerhead coming down on the ball. All right. I've been measuring all the different ways that I hit this morning. I hit this more consistently and I hit it further. So I'm going to hit one like that. Okay, I'll do it slow. Now see, I'm, look at my hands, Debbie. I'm not doing, I'm going back here, and that doggone thing is still looking at that ball. It might get off a little bit up here, but it's looking back at the ball. And you hit down on it. It's easy to hit down on the ball and compress it this way. Okay, here we go. I was hitting this 110 yards, 120 yards in my other methods, and now I'm going 140, which for a fellow my age and size, we used to think 150 was about right with a 7 iron. Do it again very consistently I'm able to hit the ball downward. See the club? Look at the club head. That joker is not moving at all. It isn't doing this. It isn't doing this. It's just going straight. And I'm going to hammer down on the ball. I can hit pretty hard this way without missing it. All right. We're going to grab up the ball here in a minute. Okay. I hit the, most of those balls 100, a little more than 130 yards. Using what I think Bobby Jones meant by the, oh, the shut face method. You look at my head, that thing ain't going anywhere. The orientation of that is staying the same. 
and then I come down on it. All right, we're going to do a couple of more. Now, maybe I'm not describing Bobby Jones's meaning from his book by because in words, you know, you're not sure. Or maybe I don't understand what he was talking about, but this is what I think he meant. If he didn't mean this, this is what I'm doing, and I find that it's much easier to hit down on the ball by doing this. And that's what they all say you got to do is hit down and compress the ball. Okay? If I could hit a 7 iron like that every time, look, it's not how far I hit it. It's not, golf is not how far you can hit it. It's knowing how far you can hit it with each club and how to do it consistently without messing up too much. So I'm learning how far I can hit this Miura 7 iron. Down. I'm hitting it hard now, and I'm not missing it hardly at all. I hit in the same direction. I got it a little thin, and it didn't go quite as far because I didn't compress it quite as much, but it was not a horrible golf shot. You can play with your buddies like this. You might want to try it. Watch the head. See? I'm not doing this, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing this. I'm just, like I'm taking a picture of it. Taking a picture of the ball with the face of my club. And you just keep going like that. Here we go again. I hit that one thin. You could probably hear it. Well, I've been hitting for quite a while out here, and I'm getting a little tired. But I'm going to do better this time. I'm going to make sure I hit down on the ball, compress it, and try to drive it into the ground. I did. Now, I hooked that one a little bit. Okay? I'm in the woods. Well, I don't have any woods out here, but in a, in, a, in a tight fairway, I would be in the woods. Well, that's gonna happen. Even the good guys do that. I didn't hit it clean. I didn't hit it straight. All right, come on now. Didn't do it again. Okay. I'm proving my point. Hit the ball. Drive it in the ground. Oh, beautiful. Now those other times when I didn't hit it, that was just pure error. That can happen no matter how you swing the golf club. So I'm not going to blame it on this method. I believe this is a more pure way to hit it than any other way I know about. Here we go. Make sure I hit the ball. I couldn't hit a 7 iron any better than that. When I do my take back now, this is a concentration. I'm looking at that ball, I'm looking at that ball, and I'm doing this rather quickly, so there's not much time between the time I take it back and the time I hit it. Do it again. Beautiful. All right, those are going about 130 uphill 
that's good for me. You might like to try this. If you want to do it, to just do it on a short. You're doing this. A little further. You're doing this. A little further. Depending on how you're holding that club, you're going to bring it back to the exact same place. All right. Maybe that'll help. Maybe that'll be interesting to try. Let's just see. I'm not sure what I'll name this, but I want some people to look at it because I think it might help them get a good, clean strike with the golf club. Signing off.